The John Wick franchise has achieved legendary status over the years, and rightfully so with the iconic Keanu Reeves playing the titular character in some jaw-dropping movies. Ballerina marks the first spin-off movie that comes after the success of another spin-off project, the TV series titled The Continental. The upcoming movie Ballerina starring Ana de Armas as the protagonist is all set to be a standalone story, but from the looks of the trailer there seems to be some link with the overall franchise narrative as well. In this video, we will take you through the exact timeline where the movie is placed and what you can expect from the settings of the narrative. But before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. What is the story of Ballerina 2025? From whatever has been revealed so far in various interviews and the brief trailer, it is not too difficult to draw an overview of the story that we can expect from this upcoming movie. Eve Macaro is found as a distressed young girl whose family has been killed by a mob boss. She is picked up by Winston who guides her into the Rusca Roma clan and the director takes her under her wing. She is trained as the infamous ballerina assassin according to the traditions of Rusca Roma, and now she is finally ready for revenge. Eve sets out in search of those who killed her family, and her mission is more difficult than you can imagine because the opposition outnumbers her insanely. Is Ballerina Linked to John Wick? Chapter 3 Parabellum? If you have watched the trailer of Ballerina, you already know that the movie features the Rusca Roma clan and the Ballerina assassins trained there, which is a feature that we have briefly observed in the movie John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. This was the third movie in the John Wick franchise, and the synopsis of Ballerina already states that the events take place during the events of John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. There have been further confirmations about the timeline in the trailer of Ballerina, where we see new perspectives of certain events from John Wick 3. One of the notable moments come when Eve Macaro, the protagonist played by Ana de Armas, watches as John Wick visits the director. As you may remember, John Wick came back to his original clan, the Rusca Roma, when he was in desperate need of a safe passage. The high table had already declared him an excommunicado, and hitmen were gunning for his head all over the town. The director, who was more of a motherly figure to John Wick back in his youth, helped him out even though she knew about the consequences of betraying the High Table. As expected, when the agent of the High Table, the Adjudicator, found out about this, she came with her forces to punish the director by stabbing her through her hands for breaking the trust of the High Table. We only got glimpses of the director and the ballerina assassins who were undergoing training, but it was quite clear that she had all the leadership qualities to head an organization like the Rusca Roma. Her ties with John Wick also suggested motherly instincts beyond the duties and rules of the high table. It is quite an interesting prospect that the upcoming movie Ballerina has chosen to explore further into this territory, and we will now get an entire movie focused on this clan and their actions. There might also be insights into the rigorous training process that ends up turning normal young ladies into deadly assassins. There is a scene in the trailer where John Wick himself acknowledges the credentials of Eve Macaro as someone worthy of the Baba Yaga title, which goes on to show that she is no less than the man, the myth, and the legend John Wick. Aside from the obvious story connections, the trailer has also promised many returning characters such as Winston and Charon. They continue to play a guiding role for Eve just like they do for John Wick, and Winston seems to be the one who gets her into the clan in the first place and offers her the opportunity for revenge. We also expect to get a clearer perspective on John Wick's stance even though his presence might be limited in the movie. Earlier, Keanu Reeves had stated that the events of Ballerina take place between John Wick 3 and John Wick 4 which would give us an idea about John Wick's entire recovery process during this time. Now, it seems like the timeline has shifted slightly and Ballerina takes place during the events of John Wick 3, almost parallel to the events. We also believe that the director and producer of the John Wick franchise, Chad Stahelski, had some crucial inputs in this regard, and the timeline shouldn't be problematic or confusing in any way. Does a part of Ballerina's storyline go back a long way? From the looks of it, Ballerina's timeline has a major time jump, and what we just discussed is the majority of the events in the movie that take place during John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. However, there is a segment that will cover the detailed origin story of Eve Macaro, and this part should go back in time. We probably get a good look at her first interaction with Winston in the movie, and then follow her rigorous training days under the watchful eyes of the director and many others who shape her into a seasoned assassin. Going by her age in the movie, she seems to have been found before John Wick rejoined his life of an assassin, and we might get a quick view of that timeline as well. The Continental TV series has already turned back the clock and explored the past life of Winston and Charon, and it will be fun to watch more of their earlier days before John Wick set the stage on fire with his vengeance-filled comeback. 
Why is Eve Makaro on the run? Who is she up against? This is the million dollar question for the fans, especially those who are wondering about the narrative that will be pursued in the upcoming movie Ballerina. Eve Makaro may have trained under the director at the Ruska Roma clan, but from the trailer it seems like she is out on her own seeking revenge for all the wrongs done to her. It is quite likely that she is up against an entire crime family like John Wick against the Russian clan in the first movie, and her opposition seems to have overwhelming force and numbers. Of course, that never deters the true assassins, and she does have the backing of some of the smartest people in business. Also, her brief interaction with John Wick suggests that even he is quite supportive of her murderous run, and this makes us wonder if she has managed to earn the fury of the high table as well. If this movie turns out to be a successful venture, we can expect a franchise starring Eve Macaro as the protagonist, and it would be great for the future of the series to introduce complications that cannot be easily resolved. Marvelous Verdict, a movie worthy of reviving the action genre. There has been a clear lack of excitement in the action genre of late, and it has been some time since we last enjoyed a movie packed with loads of martial arts and nail-biting sequences. Ballerina seems to have the recipe right, and even the actors are perfectly suited for their roles. The returning characters like Ian McShane and Lance Reddick in his posthumous appearance make it all the more intriguing for the fans of the franchise. Overall, if the movie lives up to the expectations and the glamour of the trailer, we are all set for a very entertaining action flick, which will be like a shot in the arm for the genre. It is all set for a 2025 release, and it looks like the next year is going to have some grand moments for all the movie buffs out there. Do let us know in the comments below what you think of the movie, and also share your thoughts on what you liked or disliked about the trailer. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.